Hello, I didn't see you there. Even though my apartment is one square meter, I didn't notice your presence. You might be thinking, okay, this is a bit bougie and you would be 100% correct. So if you watched my last video, you would know that I recently moved to Melbourne and as part of that process, you know, your boy's got to get like a bunch of homewares. And when I say homewares, I'm not talking... I don't even know what a good brand is. And I'll be the first to admit, my knowledge in that area is severely limited. Honestly, I, when I go to the shop for like this kind of thing, I'm looking for the cheapest, not the bougiest, you know, I'm like on a budget. Lest we forget, I'm on a graduate salary. So what I thought could be fun is I could review the very, very cheap homewares that I bought from Target, Big W, Woolworths and Audi, yes, like come through Audi, welcome to the party. All right, so to start with a bit of backstory on the kettle situation, I went to Target on like my second day here and got a kettle and I saw that it was $10 and I was like, oof, that is my kind of price. Came back, took it out of the box and what do you know, it cannot be plugged into the wall because it didn't have a fucking base. So we returned it to Target and then we bought the $15 one. So not only did I scam myself, I scammed my ability to have a tea. So here's one I prepared earlier. Let's go, girl. The new kettle. It is a Contempo. I wish I had kept the boxes for an unboxing, but honestly, like, I'm just enjoying the rubbish chute too much. Like, you just open it and you just chuck sh fucking shit down the chute. And it's just so much fun. So as soon as I took this stuff out of the box, I just, like, put that shit down the chute. Shit down the chute. That just works so well. We've got a little bit of a 1.7 litre max capacity. We've got a popped lid. Ooh. Bit of dripping. We have like a little pop thing on the side and when you pop it, it like lights up. Like if that's not a mood, I don't know what is. Um, we have bougie black. It fits like the aesthetic of my part, which is mostly white. So I have like white and black and gray, which is very much like my personality. That's like so untrue, but anyway. I don't know if I'm out of the loop on homewares, but like $15 is fucking nothing. Like, I can't even get like a piece of bread in Melbourne for $15 and then I can buy a kettle. Anyway, it does its job, it lights up, it's bougie, it's amazing, I love it. All right, now let me tell you about the real scam. So I went to Big W with my mum, and why am I spinning this? This ain't a fucking tennis racket. So I went to Big W, and then we turned the corner, and there's this thing, it's like 15 piece, like, set up. For $30? And I was like, okay. So we had this small pan and like, I was excited cause I had two pans and I was like, what the fuck do I use this for? And then my mum was like to cook sauces or some shit. And I'm just thinking, when am I going to be cooking sauces? <sighs> so I just wanted to say that since I recorded that video, it's been three nights and I cooked fucking sauce three nights in a row in that small pan. I ain't using this shit, bye. And then this pot is like a scam because this pan doesn't fit on it properly. It just like, like it doesn't, it doesn't fit on, it's so weird. Um, so that was two of the 15. And then we also had this fry pan and the fry pan was disgustingly bad. Like, again, I thought it was okay. And then my mum was like, okay, let's try and use the fry pan to cook something. The second we put any kind of food in the fry pan, just like that shit stuck to the base. Like, non-stick who? Like this, nah. It was just, just a big, fat no. Once we were done and we washed the dishes, my mum was like, chuck this in the bin. And I was kind of shook because I was like, holy shit, like why did we scam ourselves again? So this is even more fun. So I picked up the pan and I put some other rubbish in it and I walked down the hallway and I was thinking, I hope I don't run into anyone because what a first impression to see someone walking down the hallway to the rubbish chute with a fucking fry pan. So then, I bet you can guess what happens. I see three people from three different apartments on my floor, like walking up and down the halls, and I never see anyone ever. And there was just three of them for three separate apartments. You had the fry pan, two pots, a spatula thing, a slotted spoon, scissors, um, maybe like a peeler, a knife, like a bunch of shit, 15 items. And for the most part, it's really, really, really good value. It's just the fry pan was booty hole. It was so bad. And like this shit, like if you're going to be cooking sauces, I mean, you do, you go off, but like, I will not be using this. <laughs> so then my mum and I discovered that there is a, another shopping center near me. So we like popped a little visit there. This bitch is like the real deal. It's an Arco steel pan. It says, 
Stonehenge range mood. Suitable for all cooktops, dishwasher safe. Like, me. And like, this shit is like, so beautifully non-stick. Like, honestly, like, fry me in this pan. Like, it's amazing. I personally haven't used it. But regardless, I'm already giving it a higher score. Um, it just feels nice. It feels sturdy. And like, the handle, like, I could just like, fucking forehand. Backhand, double hands, because I couldn't do a one-handed backhand because I was weak as fuck. So like that. So again, come through Arco Steel. We have a fuck. I just had like a full-on mental break. What is this called? This is the pot. This is an Arco Steel Chef's Choice suitable for all cooktops, dishwasher safe. I don't know why I'm saying that last bit as if that's not on every single one. This one again, the real deal. Look at that shine and shimmer. You can see yourselves. Oh, selfie. And then we have this lid, and the lid actually fits on the pot. I love that. Just some more things that were in the 15 pack. This bitch. I will be using this a lot. A lot. A lot of times I'll be opening cans. Anyway, here's some tongs. Snip, snip, bitch. So let me just get my favourite appliance of them all. Where is it? How do I lose shit in this apartment? It's like one square metre. Okay, so I know I forced some of the people at my new job to subscribe to my YouTube channel and they would have already heard about this appliance. Let me introduce you to the Big W $29 Contempo Vacuum Cleaner. Your world is about to change. So before I left, my auntie told me that I should get the cheap vacuum cleaner from the W because it's really good. And I was kind of like, okay, that's cool. And I was thinking about like a billion things at the time. So it kind of just like left my brain. And then we arrive in Melbourne, and then we had to buy a vacuum cleaner. I was like, okay, that's right. There's that vacuum cleaner, Big W. So I Googled it, and let me tell you, Dyson is shaking. So I like go to the Big W website, go to stick vacuums, and then there's this one for $30, and there's like 80 reviews, and 75 of them are five star. And I was like, is this a scam? It's not a scam. Like, there are a lot of things in Melbourne that are scams, such as the weather and the prices of literally everything. But this vacuum cleaner is not a fucking scam. What you've got is a stick vacuum cleaner, Contempo range, $29, link in bios, please sponsor me Big W because honestly, I will sell you like 15,000 of these because I can just never stop. It's like, I can't even speak, that's how much I love it. So we have this thing here, which I'm pretty sure has a term, I don't know if it's called a Hoover, because Hoover's the brand, but like you have this thing, so you can actually grab it like this and just use like this section and like get on your hands and knees and like zoom the floor and the suction power is just like iconic it comes with one filter inside and then one filter in the box and then you add this stick business you can't adjust the height which is like my one gripe but then bitch it's $29 like I still can't get a meal for $29 so you hold on to here you plug it in then oh I'm busy. Do you, would you like a demonstration? Let's give a demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up some promotional shit that I was given, chuck it on the floor, and we're gonna vacuum that shit. You ready? Let's do it. So I have to lay down. I'm still working out my angles and shit. You can see my pajamas. Hello. Also, I feel like a, I feel like a beauty guru. I'm using the Contempo 15 pack scissors. I also found a piece of cheese on the floor, so that's great. So. This is really painful for my elbows, but I'm suffering for the art. So can you like and subscribe? Thank you. Hey Google, play Dance by Big Sean Feet, Nicki Minaj. Okay, so now let's, okay. Hey Google. Hey Google. What the fuck? Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. The audacity. Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> hey Google. Stop the music. I'm gonna use it like this just for the aesthetic. Alright. Ready? Let's pop it off. Okay, did you say that? Did you did you say that? Like you just went, whoa, because that's how powerful it is. I know that maybe seems like something that any vacuum cleaner could do, but let me tell you, this vacuum cleaner does it better. 
don't fight me on it. Buy the vacuum cleaner and say it's only $30 less than a meal in Melbourne. It's less than a crumb from a piece of bread in Melbourne. A piece of bread here costs like $400. Fantastic. So that's this video. I really want to vacuum now because I'm super motivated. So I'm going to go and do that. If you liked the video, please like it. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Does anyone listen to me when I do this? 